there's illegal seafood going in the spot that Jimmy's Harborside was in. We've sold them a, a floor made of oak from the pilings that held up Jimmy's Harborside. Hey, my name is Arnie Jarmack. I own a company called Antique Lumber Corporation. We're based in Chelsea, Massachusetts. It's really exciting for us um, to be able to take this wood that held up Jimmy's Harborside and see the legal seafood, use the wood again. It's the ultimate opportunity to work with a company that appreciates the beauty of this wood. They put a, a barge and a crane here and they wrapped the pilings with a nylon strap and pulled them out of the uh, water. We don't know the exact date that the pilings were put in the harbor, but we suspect it was around 100 years ago. Um, they use white oak in pilings because it's resistant to the water. We sent eight tractor trailer loads of oak pilings down to our sawmill in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. It's on a working Amish dairy farm. It's really a very special place. We cut the pilings, we let them sit outside for two years, acclimate themselves and reduce the uh, moisture, and then we took them inside and covered them and let them dry for another two years. Today, the Beck Corporation is finishing the uh, floor. What makes this floor so special is that the hundred years that the lumber sat in the harbor, it picked up minerals and it added some color and some staining. So when you look at this floor, you can tell that it's a hundred year old product and that's important. Uh, hi, Roger Berkwood, owner of Legal Seafoods. And we're here at the uh, just opened Legal Harborside. We, we, we love the way it turned out. It adds a, li a little bit of character and it's hard wood. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's gonna last a long time. It lasted 85 years in the water. Uh, we're not gonna give it that kind of abuse. So I, I'm sure it'll last a long time here. Uh, it probably has really good karma. So uh, we took it and this is the floor that we have today. Pilings from the original uh, Jimmy's.